It is a 10 hour drive on brain bruising dirt roads from Kabul to Bamiyan. We left Kabul, Afghanistan's chaotic capital, where helicopters patrol the skies and international security forces rumble through the streets. We came to cover the country's first ever democratic election. I'm not in this meeting, I don't have anything to say about this meeting, so I don't want to mislead you. And it passed with no major incidents of violence. In the mountain passes, we squeaked by old lorry trucks bringing fabrics and boots to villages. I don't know how their brakes kept them on the road, but nothing kept them from breaking down. We arrived at the Buddhas of Bamiyan, carved 2,000 years ago. As it was throughout our trip, a gaggle of kids appeared out of the crevices of the mountain. See the sun? The sun needs to be on your face. Stand over here. You didn't get such a rubbish in this. Don't be going to knock each other off. Rich. And you? I'm going to go back to police. Ready? Your hair? Yes, sir. Get your hair. Yes, sir. You follow me. Ah, heads in the mountain. So you look behind you. Uh, yes. Pashang. Pashang, huh? Yes. Pashang. What's the smile? <laughs> the Buddhist monks couldn't have picked a better place for the Buddhas to overlook for eternity. We were not the only tourists on this day, as four Afghans from Kabul made their first ever trip to Bamiyan to see the remnants of the Buddhas. <laughs> With only three days, we sped into the Hindu Kush to find the five lakes of Bandamir, we found ourselves lost in the vast rolling hills. Our driver had never been this far out. Luckily, there was a little boy we could ask for directions. Leaving the dog to find his way home, the boy seemed unconcerned. asked to stay at the lakes. Our guides, Hassan and Jawani, hung out with us while we trekked around the lake. Jawani! Yeah. Hassan! Aron! Yeah, yeah. Hassan! Aron! John! Aron! Jawani! Oh, 
Bondemir is one of Afghanistan's greatest natural wonders. A year before the Soviet invasion, nearly 100,000 foreign tourists visited Afghanistan. There are now plans to build a hotel on this point. Mr. Aron. Mr. Hassan. I was slowly becoming proficient at the one word translation. Nice. Kashang Sog. Sog Kashang. Using my Dari handbook and a few hand gestures, these farmers understood I wanted to ride their donkey. Wow. <laughs> The donkey won't go. With huge smiles, the farmers tried everything to get their donkey moving. Oh shit! He doesn't want you on it. I'm gonna go round up the goats. We're gonna bring them back. The homestead back here in the middle of Afghanistan. And uh, it's quite an experience. It's beautiful out here today. The weather, insanely like crystal clear. Like In this sparse land, with not a soul in sight, I wondered where the donkey was taking this man. But after a three-day adventure in the war-torn country of Afghanistan, we had planes to catch to go home. <laughs>